Right, this is just for an intro. See the price of our fuel? That's a litre, right? And I just filled up and it did click off. It's not brimful, right? And it was on, uh, what was it on? Less than a quarter, right? And I get, it, it would hold another quid or so, I think. That was it, to be necked. And I get 500 to a tank full. And I've just put 40 pounds in, that's all. And look, it's full. So, <laughs> like I said. Anyway, we're just popping out. It's bank old in, I've not been out for a week. So I'm just going to pop out and see if I can find something to show you. Well, it wasn't too bad a day, so uh, I thought I'd ride over to my tractor because um, it's got to come back this week, as I said. It's ragged my shirt the weekend. And then we've had another development last week, which I'm going to explain in a few minutes. So I think well I don't know obviously but uh, after rugby it, you know it needs a new owner that's it but whether it'll get one or what that I don't know I'm just saying um, what needs to happen which of course is often different anyway um, we had a nice little ride out it wasn't uh, it was dry it wasn't cold you know and uh, I've done a, t a tiny bit of video in, in other places, so at the beginning you've seen and I did another little bit, didn't I? and uh, I'll, I'll just put a couple of clips in just short clips, just to add interest on this uh, bit of a road coming down here you know, on the way so we'll add a, a, just a couple of clips in you know, probably before we get to this bend, one of them and another one so I'll just show you the way to chapel, you know, and uh, Steve was there and he's going to run me, so all being well, we'll be coming home with it soon, and uh, that should be sorted out. Right, as you can see, it's not too bad a day, as I said. Now, anyway, what's happened is, you know, I've been mentioning my age problem for the last oh, year or so, haven't I? But what it is, um, the last couple of years, especially after eating, I've been occasionally uh, felt a little bit ill and had to go and have a lie down for a while. Well, that's got slowly got worse. And, of course, I've known what it is, more or less, your blood sugar goes a bit high. I've known what it is for quite a number of years. People younger than me have got it. And anyway, it, the last six weeks it's got a little bit worse. Well, this year, I should say. And especially the last six weeks, it's happening most of the time. Well then, of course, last week, I, uh, it's just fate. Can't go about it. Um, I got a sore throat on Monday and a really hacking cough. Did I mention it? I think I mentioned it. Anyway, in the past, I've uh, taken some lemon tips. I thought I had a cold and it was field bound for the weekend. So I'll, in the past, if it's happened, um, I've taken some lemon tips, you know. I know it's only expensive aspirin. I've been telling everyone this. So they, they don't believe you. You know, that's another thing. You know, so... Um, what do you do? You can only tell people the facts. If they don't want to believe it, they'll have up to them, innit? It's blooming annoying, though. Anyway, it's, um, it's a sort of start of type 2 diabetes, right? But, of course, when you get old, it's not diabetes at all, right? It's old age. 
when you get old, your body's at different ages, some, it happens to them quite young, you know. But basically, especially when you get to, as I say, to, well, 65 it starts to go wrong, that's when it did with me, and uh, when you get to 70 it does go wrong. Anyway, what happened was I massively up my blood sugar, and I was in bed very ill for two days, and I couldn't eat anything, just drank water, and I've been losing weight anyway, so everyone says, oh, you want to put on... No, I can't put on weight, can I? If <laughs> you can't eat, you can't put on weight, simple as that. And if you do eat, your body doesn't digest the food and absorb it, you're not going to get fat, it's, you know. No, you can do about it. But the thing is, as I say, what's a bit annoying is, you know, this, um, this age thing. Um, you read in the paper, don't you? Oh, so-and-so, so many people die of cancer. Yeah, oh, so-and-so died of cancer. And how old was he? He was 86. He didn't die of blooming cancer at all. His blooming cells went cancerous because his body packed up working properly because he was 86. You know, if it had been 36 and it happened, well, yeah, you die of cancer. Not when you get old. So get it right, people. Right? Just get it right. You know, when you're old, your body starts not working properly you die of old age you know which may be because your, your uh, cells have stopped accepting or rather I should say the insulin isn't carrying the um, energy across to your cells properly or it could be uh, some of the cells start growing and grow lumps and all the rest of it you know, it's, there's all sorts of reasons. But don't be saying that uh, you die of stuff, you know, or you've got, I mean, type 2 diabetes now, you know, because you haven't. It's just that your body stops working, which is it's the same thing, obviously. Anyway, I'm, I'm just, I know I'm waffling on a little bit about this, but it's just, I've tried to tell people, especially as I say, last week, um, I was very ill for two days, very ill, I couldn't do anything, I was bedridden, living on water for two days, and I can't recover from it, and uh, yeah, there's things you can do, but suddenly you see, now I've had to stop doing things that I've been doing for a few years, you know, I've just had to stop, put it out altogether, so that's something else I can't do now, you know, it's just another old age problem that I have to cope with. Anyway, that's, um, I'm, I'm just telling you that for what's happened, and that's the reason why, just when I've got my tractor sorted out, running perfectly, which is loving and annoying, just for, oh, it's happened no end of time tonight, hasn't it? 1978, got a Formula 2 stock car, so I've got some stuff for my own trailer, because I didn't even have a trailer, and, was organised another engine for it the next year, be a bit more competitive, you know, I was just getting going, end of the year, marriage broke up, I came to this terrace and had to go, you know, nothing I can do about it, it's just fate, right, just the same with this, it's happened every time throughout my life and it'll keep happening, it's alright, I just got used to it, not complaining, but everyone's saying, oh, don't sell it, no, it's a shame, just when I've got it running very, very well and all the big jobs done, that uh, I, could, I can keep it, of course, and I may be able to use it a bit next year. But like I said, I don't see the point in having it if I can't use it and it just stands in the nose. You know, I, I would rather somebody else have it and make the use of all my hard work, because otherwise, in my opinion, <laughs> it's only my opinion of course, well it had all been wasted, you see. Whereas this way at least someone will benefit from it, won't they? Anyway, it's not done yet, so uh, there'll be another tractor in video bringing it back. I hope either this week or next to get into Lincoln with it. And um, there's of course Rugby Show next Sunday. Again, it all depends how I am on the day, because I now can't guarantee I'm going to be able to do anything. 
that's the that's the bottom line you know hopefully I can but uh, I mean for the first time for instance at this weekend I'm going to field bangers and although I wasn't very good when I went a couple of years ago I recovered enough to go and I did go right but the first time it's actually stopped me doing it you see so it's not going to get better is it I'm not going to get younger you know there's no cure for old age right so I'll just explain where we are now you've enjoyed that little look at the countryside hopefully and uh, we're now coming into Chapel Hill where the boats are right so I'll shut up now and I'll take you for a little tour through the village and over the bridge <laughs> 